Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Going Places with Abu Maika. If this is your first time watching my videos, welcome to my channel. I talk about moving to Canada and living in Canada as an immigrant. Now, this card is about what to do when you don't have an address for the delivery of your first permanent resident card when you land in Canada as a new immigrant. A lot of people worry about not having an address and wonder you know what to do in such circumstances and sometimes give themselves pressure to provide an address for the sake of providing an address okay uh so let's talk about that to stay tuned now i've already done a video on what the pr card is for in Canada okay it's one of the most useless cards that you can carry with you in Canada okay but it doesn't mean you shouldn't have one okay so you want to find out more about the PR card itself this is the video to watch but this video is about the delivery of that first card okay now when you land in Canada okay you will have your landing documents with you the ones that you got from the embassy from the visa office um, that sent you your passport request okay now, you will have your COPR documents, okay? There will be two copies of that document. One copy will have your permanent, um, I mean, which will have your photo, and the other one will not. Both copies need to be signed by a CBSA, I don't know if it's CBSA or RCC officer, it's CBSA at the border, and uh, both copies also need to be signed by you. The copy with the photo is the one that goes to the PR card processing center in Nova Scotia. The copy without the photo is the one that is for you to keep and keep it in a very safe place until you get your citizenship. Okay. Now, um, the COPR document, if you look at it, it will not have an address. Okay. Now, when you land at the airport and when you go to the new immigrant section after clearing immigration, the CBSA officer will ask you, do you have a permanent address in Canada? And some people like they, at this point, that's where they'll say yes. And then they give the friend's address or whatever. Okay. The only purpose for which that address is being required is just for the delivery of your permanent resident card. If you don't have an address at that time, okay, they will tell you that you have got 180 days to supply an address. Otherwise, you will not get your PR card, okay? You will have to pay $50 as a processing fee for another application, okay? So a lot of people are like, okay, I don't want that to happen. Let me provide an address. Sometimes what happens is, you know, you provide your friend's address in, let's say you land at Pearson Airport in Toronto and you are staying in Brampton with some relatives or you're staying in York or you're staying in Oakville, you're staying in mississauga you're staying in pickering whichever i mean there are so many cities in ontario guys ontario is a massive province you can drive for 19 hours and still be in ontario okay so you give your friends address your relatives address but there's an unknown here which you know is um quite can be quite frustrating you don't know how long it's going to take for you to get that card okay and if it takes six months, for example, for that card to be produced, uh, where are you going to be in six months? Okay. So that's why IRC asks, do you have a permanent address? Okay. So whatever address you give IRCC at the border needs to be an address at which you can receive mail. Okay. So, yeah, if you're going to give somebody else's address, make sure that person is not planning to move out of that place within the next month or within the next two months or whatever. So always give a permanent address, okay? Permanent in this case means uh, an address where at least, you know, whoever you know there needs to be able to be like, needs to be staying there for like a year or so, right? Now, if you don't have an address, it doesn't mean that your permanent resident card won't be produced because the PR card, it looks like this, guys. The PR card does not have an address or printed on it, okay? My driver's license has an address because it's issued by the province. The PR card is issued by the federal government. Federal government doesn't really care where you live, right? They just care that you're in Canada, okay? Now, I mean, at least for the purposes of identification, right? So your, you know, permanent resident card won't have an address, but your provincial ID, your driver's license will have an address. 
and I changed my address once since coming to Canada and I had to update the driver's license and pay another 28 bucks okay so when you don't have an address there are four ways maybe five okay to inform RCC of your address for the permanent resident card delivery now I mentioned I think I mentioned that not providing an address doesn't mean they're not going to produce the card they are going to produce the card but if they don't have an address they won't know where to send it okay so when you um don't have an address you can ask for an address notification form at the airport if they don't give you uh because sometimes the officers won't tell you about it uh, sometimes they're just too busy they want to just get you out of the airport as quickly as possible uh, but you can ask for an address notification form uh, that in our case that's what we got um, and you can fill that out whenever you get an address you, you have 180 days to do it 180 days is more than enough time for you to find accommodation it's more than enough time for you to figure out where you're gonna be for at least a year in Canada okay so having um, so when you get that address you can use the form uh, to notify RCC of your address. So you can fill out the form and you can send it to RCC in one of two ways. You can mail it using Canada Post. They've got tracking. Canada Post is not um, a crappy uh, mail service provider. Okay. Uh, Canada Post is quite good. They're very reliable. So when you send it through Canada Post, make sure you include tracking, pay for tracking so that you know you know when your documents are delivered okay so you can post it number one number two you can fax it okay um and again you'll get a confirmation of the delivery of the fax okay if you don't have a fax machine at home most people don't you can go to staples and you can or even to sometimes at a local library you can do that as well you can say hey i would like to fax a document to ircc so those are the first two ways the third way is you can use the address notification form online okay so link in the description go online um, and you fill out the details as per your copr document so have it handy have your client identification number have your document number you know they'll ask for a lot of stuff that's on your copr so that they can pull out your information so then you supply your address and say this is where uh, I would like my card to be delivered and uh, they won't always acknowledge that they have received it so don't worry about it okay what matters is you have sent you have notified the RCC of your address and uh, so that's the third way the fourth way is to use the web form so the web form that a lot of us are familiar with yeah you just go there and you can do one of two things you can provide additional information about your application or you can select the change of contact information option and once you do that, you know, you will be, um, you, you, you are basically telling ISIS that this is my address in Canada. The fifth way is calling IRCC. Okay, they've got a number that I'm going to put on the screen here. You can call them. And uh, this is an option that I don't really like. I don't know, unless you've got a lot of time, but it, you can spend an hour on hold with IRCC. You can spend one and a half hours on hold waiting to talk to somebody. But you can phone them. And at least you know that it's immediate delivery and immediate confirmation. So you call somebody and you say, hey, um, they will ask again, have your COPR document ready when you're on that call because they will ask you for details that are on that document. Okay. So once you inform RCC, boom, that's done. Uh, the next thing you need to do is you need to link your PR account application to your IRCC account. Okay. That way you can be able to track uh, the progress of your PR card uh, processing okay so you can see when it has been approved you can see when it has been printed you can see when it has been dispatched when it has been dispatched then you know that okay you're gonna get the card within like maybe two or three weeks okay so that's what to do when you don't have an address for your PR card application I hope you found this video useful if you liked it like it share you know with people who may think it may be useful to leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any comments or feedback and subscribe turn on notifications don't miss out when i do uh the next video okay so see you next time